Hello everybody, I'm Charlie with Red Summit RF. A few people have asked me how I create maps like this. And in today's ham hacks, I show you how. So let's go on over to the computer. First, we're going to bring up a web browser and we're going to do a search for Soda Watch. I'll bring up the Soda Watch website. And there's a preliminary step that I'm assuming you've accomplished before we move to the creating of the maps, and that is under Soda Links Database. I'll go to Menu and View Results, Activator Roll of Honor. You'll see under here is My Log History. You'll have to have at least one log like this in the Soda database, and if you don't, it won't work for you. So because what happens is we map based on your contacts in each of these logs. So, you know, if we look at this log, we'll, there'll be a, a, a line for Foxtrot 4 or Whiskey Bravo November. So going back to the Soda Watch page, the first step then after you've uploaded your log into the Soda database is to go to Soda Links and then Mapping. And once you arrive on the mapping page, after a few seconds, then You'll, uh, you'll go to load and you'll go to mapping activations. And after a few seconds, then your call sign will load right here. And then you'll go ahead and set a period. And I'm going to do the last two months, so November, December, apply. And look what happens. We get all these logs from the Soda Watch or from the Soda database close this uh, set period window and then simply click on any of your logs and the maps will appear so this is that one and there should be one for Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo November if you hover over it then you'll get uh, what band and, and mode you use as well as the locator if you click on it then you'll also in addition to that get how many miles it was and you know just a few other pieces of information uh, move to the other log just before that one. If you click on that, you know, I get a different map. And as I move up, each of the con each of the activations that I have performed in within that period that I set will appear as I click on them. So, and then down below, as I said, there all the is the list of the logs. A few other things to note is down here in the activation QSOs area you can click on settings and change a few of the ways in which the map will look right now we have the red dots that terminate each of your contacts you could change it to a green or a blue or a smaller size as well and you could also put a, a house instead uh, also you can filter your QSOs if you want just a certain band or mode or only S to S and then also you could set the QTH of an of a QSO if it doesn't show up in map if for some reason there's a problem then you can set that right here and lastly of course you can zoom in and out and move the map however you like if I go back to this map here if I wanted to kind of look a little bit closer at one of these activations or one of these contacts and where the QTH is you can just in and you can zoom into your location where you activated from as well I hope this installment of ham hacks was helpful to you and thank you for watching I'm Charlie with Red Summit RF and we'll talk to you next time see you later